Welcome back, it's me, Lou. I'm here for another action figure unboxing and review, and today we are looking at Roybot. And this comes to us from Tops, and it's produced by the Loyal Subjects. And for those of you that grew up in the 80s, much like myself, you'll recognize this as one of the Garbage Pail Kids. So I haven't kept up to date with Garbage Pail Kids uh, <laughs> since I was a little kid. So I don't know why it's just now abbreviated to uh, GPK. Um, I'm not sure if that's like a trademark or like licensing thing or, or whatnot. But if you didn't grow up during the 80s and you don't know what GPK is, it stands for Garbage Pail Kids. During the 80s, um, there, was a, a, there was a line of stuffed dolls called uh, Cabbage Patch Kids. And it was like a, a crazy phenomena. Um, they were like hot as pancakes. They would like fly off the shelves. Parents would fight over them. And Tops at the time, they produced uh, trading cards, which kind of poked fun at the Cabbage Patch Kids. But at the same time, it's kind of like a weird amalgamation. They would like kind of like blend it in with other things like, like from pop culture. And you got this like crazy line of like trading cards back in the day. And here's kind of some examples of them. But this was something that really, really caught my eye, and it was something I did not expect to see. So last week, I was at one of my local Walmarts. Um, I was running some errands, doing some grocery shopping, and I found this in the collectible toy section. And immediately when I saw it, I had to have it. And uh, this is the GPK Roybot. Now for me, what makes this very special is that the design of this character, um, I even knew this back when I was little. Uh, and when I say little, I was probably about like maybe like seven or eight years old when Garbage Pail Kids first came out. So this specific character, Roybot, uh, if you cover up the head, if you remove the head, it's actually um, the character, or it's not character, it's actually the mech from the anime Robotech, or also known as Macross in Japan. So if you're a big fan of anime, more specifically Macross and Robotech, this is something that will just like scream at you and you'll want this. So this design is based off of the um, the Valkyrie Fighter, which we have here, which is more specifically, um, this is the heavy armored Veritech. And as you can see right there, <laughs> this is the the I mean back in the day the, the trading card alone you know it was a complete knockoff of this so for me it's just wild to think that in the year 2022 we're getting garbage uh, pail kids like mini figurines and they're still they're not compromising at all you know this is completely a knockoff of the Macross Robotech armor and I kind of feel like at some point in time <laughs> maybe the loyal subjects and tops We'll get like a cease and desist letter from Harmony Gold saying, don't make this anymore. You're clearly ripping off Robotech, which is right here. You know, nothing about it. It's changed. They have the same color scheme, the same armor design. And they even have the, the Macross logo on the knee. It's nuts. But this is a cool, cool, cool collectible. Uh, the price is kind of a little bit on the pricier side. I want to say I paid $16 for this at Walmart. And uh, I don't regret it whatsoever because I'm a big Robotech and Macross fan. Love the anime, love the mech designs, love all the robots. Um, I grew up during the age of Cabbage Patch Dolls and Garbage Pail Kids. So for me, it's so, so cool to finally get like a toy of the trading card. And there's the trading card artwork from back in the day. I think this was one of the more iconic characters. I think that's one reason why they chose it. Also, there's crossover. I think they know that anime fans are going to want this. The package design is nice. I think this was like 16 bucks, which... Uh, at first, I thought this was going to be like 10 bucks, like a, like a Funko Pop. But then I went to go check the price check, and I think it rang up like 15 bucks or $16. And I'm like, eh, it's a lot of money. But it's not very often you see Macross Robotech-related products at Walmart. And the box is cool, loyal subjects. And like I said, for whatever reason, they don't call these garbage pail kids anymore. It just says official garbage, the trash we trust. And here's some of the other uh, figures in uh, the wave. We have uh, TV Steve, uh, Joe Blow, and Weird Wendy. 
So this will give you an idea of what garbage pail kids were like back in the day. You know, in the 80s, there were these trading cards that you'd buy like a pack of, like at your local 7-Eleven. And you'd get these weird characters. All right, so let's open this up. I don't want to demolish this package because it's really nice. And I think you could easily open it from the top. I don't think it's taped. Funko does that. You know, Funko, they don't tape their, pot, their boxes, which... I think is awesome. They know that you know collectors just want to take these out sometimes and preserve the box. All right, so there's that. Oh, cool! And there's a trading card also. Here's the Roybot trading card. It's kind of nice. It feels like a thinner stock than an average trading card, I, th I think. It feels a little bit thinner. They kind of recreate that moray pattern in the background, so it looks a little bit more, I don't know, vintage-like. And then here's the other figures. Right, let's deposit that back in the box. And here's Roybot. Get us in the focus. Um, he does not want to get into focus. There we go. All right, so this guy, he kind of reminds me as I'm handling him, the scale kind of feels like along the same size as like maybe uh, a Nintendo Amiibo. So if you're like a video game guy or gal and you're into like collecting Amiibos, this kind of feels like slightly in the same scale. Um, I don't think it's articulated, but nah, it's, there's no articulation. It's kind of like a softer vinyl. So it's a little bit, a, a little bit on the denser vinyl side, but it's a little bit flexible as you can see. Um, the detailing is nice. The lines are all kind of hard and crisp. But yeah, if you grew up in the 80s, you know, this is a real throwback to your childhood. And it does not want to focus. There we go. Yeah, so overall really cool. He has that turret on the top of his forehead shooting a laser. And there's a part of me that wants to get another one of these and see if I can remove the head or cut it off and just actually try to, like, make an actual... Robotech or Macross, um, you know, figurine from this because it's overall it's the exact same thing. The only thing different is the head. Yeah, so this is awesome. If you grew up during the '80s, it's definitely worth the purchase. It's on the pricier side. Like I said, you're paying 16 bucks for a collectible that doesn't move. It doesn't. It's not articulated at all. If anything, you're just paying for the memories. <laughs> so, yeah, it's pretty neat. I dig this a lot. All right, so let's wrap this video up. Um, real quick, on a scale of 1 to 10, how would I rate this? Um, I don't know. For me, an easy 10. It sounds a little bit generous, but I grew up during the 80s. Um, I collected Garbage Pail Kids when I was when I was younger. Um, I'm a big Robotech and Macross fan. So this, for me, it kind of checks all the boxes. The package design's nice. You know, ideally, I think I would have preferred paying at least 12 bucks for this. I think... I think $16 is a little bit on the pricier side. Um, but like I said, for this, I'm just paying more so for the memories, which sounds ridiculous to say. And it, I kind of want to get some of the other ones. I think I saw um, at Target, I think they make GPK figures of um, Stranger Things. And with the new Stranger Things um, season coming out, I'm kind of jonesing for some Stranger Things merchandise since I don't have a whole lot in my collection, if any, I don't think. So, yeah, this is really cool. I'm digging it. Really awesome. All right, so well, let's wrap this up. Uh, once again, my name is Lou. If you're new to my channel, welcome. If you are a returning subscriber or viewer, thank you so much for your support. So until the next video, be safe, take care of yourself, buy lots of toys, and most importantly, be happy. And I'll see you at the next one. All right, later.